As you said, uh, Swamiji, uh, everywhere there is chaos, there is confusions. So, uh, does this mean uh, everywhere uh, the pedagogy or education system is diluting all these things? Yes, of course, because... They are not you know, uh, providing proper education or awareness to the people. Exactly. The education which we have been teaching to the people, we are making them extrovert only. Yeah, that's why Facebook is famous. Exactly. But we really want to hear what others say about it. Exactly. You know, we are becoming extrovert. You know, we are interested in exhibition. We are not interested in self-realization. And everybody wants to change the world without changing oneself. Yeah. Everybody wants to create the peace without creating peace within self. Yeah. Everybody wants to share the love without being love within oneself. Yes. Everybody wants to share respect and without respecting oneself. You know, yeah. that's why you should teach people how to love oneself, how to respect oneself, how to be oneself. Yeah. And how to know one's uniqueness. And we have to find our hidden treasure, which is our consciousness, Burma, Atma, whatever we call it, it is the diamond of all diamond. And once we go there, then we know what is the essence of life, where lies the beauty, where lies the grace, where lies the solution. And two fundamental things we have to understand is People talk about dialectic materialism in communism, mm -hmm. but most of the people don't know what is the dialectics of the mind. <laughs> and our mind, our mind is unreal self. Yeah, unreal and self. Our mind is divided into Hinduism and Christianity and Mohammedanism and Buddhism and Democrat and communism and Western and Eastern civilization, religion, culture, language, race, ethnicity, tribe. Perception, and perception. As, yes, there are lots of perceptions, and our mind is divided. You know, this is unreal self, and we have the real self as well. And our soul, our spirit, is the real self. Yeah. Once we start absorbing this unreal self through real self, we calm down this unreal self, realizing and slowly oneself. Uh, realizing oneself, you know, knowing this unreal self through real self, witnessing, watching, observing, being alert to it, yes, then slowly we transcend body, we transcend breathe, we transcend our mind, we transcend our emotions, and then we reach to the ultimate destiny of spiritual awakening, where there is a peaceful revolution. There is a compassion, there is a love, there is ecstasy, there is a bliss, there is a solution. And solution is hidden within, and we are seeking solution outside. Sometimes I, I doubt, Swami, uh, our anecdotes and these Purans all have so many magical things on it. And people really do expect from this type of uh, uh, magical things to happen. But I don't think, Swami, uh, the existence is just a watcher, not a magician. Exactly. So you see, look at this beautiful earth with greenery, with animals, with birds. Can't you see it is a miracle? It is a miracle. Look at the sky. It is a miracle. Look at the air. It is a miracle. Look at the sun and sun ray. It is a miracle. Look at the moon and its ray. It's a miracle. Look at the stars. Look at the galaxies. Look at the Milky Ways. Look at this flora and fauna. Isn't it everything so miracle? Yes. And the most wonderful miracle is the knower of our miracle. And there you have soul, within you there is a soul, which knows everything and ultimately knows itself. And soul has this capacity to know everything, to know everything and to know oneself. Because earth cannot know the sun, sun cannot know the space, space cannot know the ocean, ocean cannot know the air, air cannot know the Milky Way, Milky Way cannot know the star. And the capacity of knowing is there within us. That is our Atman, that is Brahma, that is consciousness. It is the knower of everything and ultimately it knows itself. Yes. Look at its miracle. The greatest uh, knowing is knowing it. Knowing oneself. Yes. And the soul, the consciousness, knows everything and knows itself. Isn't it a miracle? Yes. When I see uh, a caterpillar transforming or uh, metaphor, Mrs. Exactly. Uh, create. 
Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Look at the thing. Just a cocoon. Exactly. Can change a but uh, caterpillar to a butterfly. Butterfly. Look at the this human being. Magic. Yeah. Look at the. This is a magic. Look at the human being. A human being can be engineer, a doctor, and professor, and scientist. Lawyer and bureaucrats, minister, prime minister, presidents, artist, painter, singer, dancer. Look at how many things human being is becoming. Yeah. And at the same time, if this human being really degrade, he becomes devil. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the Osama bin Laden or ISIS, ISIL, the, all the terrorism all about all around the world, massacring, rampant yeah. killing. Look, a human being is degrading mm -hmm. and becoming the devil. Yeah. And a human being can be so many things, as I have already told, engineer, doctor, professor, lawyer, you know, whatever. Yes, sir. And then that very human, human being, if he, he, he grows properly, becomes divine. Yeah. He becomes Buddha, he becomes Krishna, so, he becomes Mahavira, he becomes Kabira, yeah. he becomes Lao Tzu, he becomes Jesus Christ, he becomes Muhammad. Yeah. And look at the potentiality of human being. So it's a seed is the same. Exactly. Just uh, doing oneself or aware, uh, alert type of uh, mindset will uh, drive to divinity. Exactly. Or deviated one divide to uh, drive to devil. The devil. Oh. So the, the same seed. Same seed. If we are climbing up, we are become divine. We are climbing down, we are become devil. So we have the same staircase. Coming up with the same mystery case, we are going down with the same, same mystery case. This Kama, Krodha, Loba, Moha, Ahankara. If we understand them properly, they are the Easter case. We, we, we climb with them and transcend them. If we don't know, that, that very thing, you know, takes us down yeah. and makes the devil. Look at the rapist, look at the murderer, yeah. look at the violent people, rampant killers. Even just yesterday, what has happened in Canada? Somebody has drove yeah, yeah. lorry into the crowd, yeah. and then in the Kabul recently in election booth, yeah. and there is a belt bomb. And look what is happening all around the world. The fundamental teaching of uh, our actually human philosophy, I call, is mm. to make human being a real human being, and and then to show there is a divinity hidden within. Yes, yes. There is a source of everything. There is a really, real epicenter is hidden within. And in your consciousness, in your soul, this body is reflecting. This breath is reflecting. These thoughts are reflecting. Emotions are reflecting. Feelings are reflecting. Earth is reflecting. Air is reflecting. Sun is reflecting. Moon is reflecting. Star is reflecting. Ocean is reflecting. River and rivulets are reflecting. Look at this cuckoo of this bird. Wow. This is a miracle. A real miracle is already happening. But we have to realize this miracle. Human being has that capacity to realize it, experience it. Once we experience it, then we disillusioned from all sorts of ignorances that is identified through our unreal self mind. And we awakened ourselves, then become peaceful and blissful. Then Udara Charita Nama Basudhaiva Kutumbakam. Who told it? The Vedic sages and sentient says such a thing. The whole universe is our abode. Yeah. Free to uh, abode. Exactly, exactly. Look at this knower, the spirit, the soul, which knows the space. That's why it is beyond space. It knows the earth, that's why it is beyond earth. It knows the air, that's why it is beyond air. It knows the sun, that's why it is beyond sun. It knows the ocean, that's why it is beyond ocean. Body is made of five elements. Yes. And this five, look at the expansion of this five element. And sixth reality is there, hidden inside and knows everything. And ultimately, transcending all these five elements, knows itself. Then there is a Brahmi consciousness. Mm. That is a small, you know, enlightened consciousness. That is the character consciousness. That is the real character of the universe. So, a, a common man should start realizing uh, the inner sixth element of exactly being. Exactly. Right? Then should start accepting all these things. Exactly. The miracles. Exactly happening. Happening. Yeah. Around. Yeah. And then after 
not thinking about future and not thinking about past can lead a real peaceful life. Exactly. In the moment. So any time a common man can start uh, being spiritual. Exactly. Just to realize. Exactly. Exactly. Because each moment is turned into second, turn into minutes, and to hours, and to day, mm. and to weeks, and to month, and to year, and to decades, and to millennium, and to eons of time. Yeah. All is relative. What really exists is the moment. And once this moment turns into eternity, once this moment turns into infinity, in mathematics, infinity minus infinity is equal to infinity. Infinity plus infinity is equal to infinity. Yes. Then once we live in the moment, then we know something of a real miracle, as you are asking. Yes. And look at the deep sleep. In deep sleep, we are entering into cosmic unconscious state of nature. Where is the duality? Where is America? Where is China? Where is India? Where is Nepal? Where is Europe? Where is Africa? Where is Asia? In deep sleep, in cosmic unconscious state of nature, we are one with the whole. Yeah. In coma. That's why Patanjali Rishi, Saint Patanjal, says Patanjal said, deep sleep is a kind of samadhi. samadhi. There is a solution. Yeah. There is no inferiority complex. There is no superiority complex. Just a peaceful deep sleep. Exactly. And then, when we work and identify with this unreal self, our mind, look at yeah. how many we become. Yeah. There are so many I, I, isms I, I, are there. Yeah, isms. Egos. Are exactly. There. Egos are there. Ego. Exist God out. Yeah, yeah. It never helped to note our miracle. Yeah, yeah. It engages on unnecessary things, unnecessary. tribal things, and makes us turmoil, in turmoil, in anguish. Yeah. 